ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಸಮಾರಂಭಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂದೇಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮಾಜೀಸ್ ಸತ್ಸಂಗೀಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹನ್ಸ್ ಮಹನ್ಸ್ ತಾನೇದಾರ್ಸ್ ಕೋಟಾರೀಸ್ ವಿಸಿಟರ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಟಿ ವಿ ಸಾಧನಾ ಟಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನೈನ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಸಿಟಿ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನೈನ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಉಜೂರ್ ಚೈನಾ ಟ್ರಿನಿಡ್ಯಾಡ್ ಗುಪ್ ಹೈದ್ರಾಬಾದ್ ಗುಪ್ತಕಾಶಿ ಸಿಂಗಾಪುರ್ ಮಧುರೈ ದುಬಾಯ್ ಲಂಡನ್ ಚಾರ್ಲೆಟ್ ಓಹಯೋ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಂಜಲಸ್ ಸಿಯಾಟಲ್ ಫೀನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಒಕ್ಲಹಾಮ ಕೊಲಾಲಂಪುರ್ ಪಾಮ್ ಡೆಸರ್ಟ್ ಕೆಲಿಫೋರ್ನಿಯಾ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ತಿರುವಾನ್ಮಿಯೂರ್ ಸ್ಯಾನೂಸೆ ಮಧುರೈ ಓಮನ್ ಶಿವಗಂಗೈ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಲೂಯಿಸ್ ತಿರುಮಲ ಟೊರಂಟೋ ತಿರುಕ್ಕೈಲಾಯಂ ದುಬಾಯ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮೋರ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಲೆಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಏಯ್ತ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಈಸಾ ವಾಸ್ ಯು ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಸೈಟ್ along with me saparyaka saparyaka chukram chukram akayam akayam avranam avranam asnaviram asnaviram shuddhama baba vidham ಕವಿರ್ಮನೀಷಿ ಪರಿಭೂ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂರ್ ಯೋರ್ಥಾನ್ ವ್ಯದತ ಚಾತ್ಸ್ವದೀಭ್ಯ ಸಮಾಭ್ಯ ಸಪರ್ಯಕಾಕ್ರಮಕಾಯ ಅವ್ರಣ ಅಸ್ನಾವಿರ ಸುಧಾಮಾಭಾವಿದ್ದ ಕವಿರ್ಮನೀಷೀ ಪರೀಭೂ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂರ್ ಯಾಥಾತೋರ್ಥಾನ್ ವ್ಯದತಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ವದೀಭ್ಯ ಸಮಾಭ್ಯ I'll read out the translation. Pure consciousness is all-pervasive, like space beyond the coming and going, absolute radiant and self-effulgent, unembodied boundaryless whole, beyond the subtle body, woundless, muscleless, having no incompletion with a body beyond grass body consciousness is the ever pure space devoid of the dirt of ignorance beyond causal body and is untouched by the delusion of incompletion consciousness is the all knowing seer of all past present future the lord of all minds consciousness transcends all beings consciousness is self existent by itself with its independent will and intelligence having no cause for its happening it is pure consciousness that from time eternal has enriched the ages and each being by ordaining desirable responsibilities unto them as per their nature and space 
and their actions and results thereof. You need to read this translation again and again at least ten times. You have to read this at least ten times. I'll tell the webmaster to upload it in the Facebook. All of you read at least ten times. Put this as a status. Why I'm asking? Because you will at least type once. <laughs> While you type, you will read it. In this verse, Upanishads are declaring the quality of the consciousness Please understand, you are given a direction, you are given a right direction, that's the right word I'll use, for your manana, contemplation, for your internalizing, you are given a conscious direction, what you are supposed to do, to experience the ultimate consciousness is described in this verse. Pure consciousness is all per pervasive. Even the moment you meditate, you just know. You are something more than the body because all pervasiveness, the amount you can experience, only that much you can visualize. Please understand. Physical things, for example, this seat, this asana, even if you don't experience what it is made of and how it feels, you can see it. You can grasp it. But the more and more things become subtle, it's the depth of your experience, how much you feel one with it, that much only you will know it. For example, physical, I already gave the example. You don't have to become one with this seat to see this seat or to use this seat. But a mental idea, You may need to become one with that idea to grasp the emotion and context behind that idea. Spiritually, how much you experience oneness with that idea, that much only you will even understand it. If there is a thought or a poetry about love, it's a thought. The level you experience that emotion, that much only you will understand those words uttered, the thought current. Otherwise you will be like, that day I shared the story of Shiva sitting with Vandi and eating the roadside idli. One of my Swami said the moral of the story is, even Mahadeva ate roadside idli, Eating roadside idli is not wrong. When you don't understand the <laughs> emotion, this is the word, this is the meaning you will make for the words. Understand? How much you are able to grasp that much only you will be able to experience. That's the beauty of the definition of consciousness by Upanishads. You can never make a statue out of what Upanishads declare as consciousness. You can never act as if you grasped without grasping. No. You can never make a mantra out of it. 
you can never form a dead ritual out of upanishads any ritual you develop out of upanishads has to be alive i tell you that is why agamas are so alive you can't make the agamas dead how much you ever you try to kill them again and again we will happen and make it as alive agamas can never be agamas can never be dead nigama nigama means vedas agama means applied vedas user friendly version of vedas manual how to use vedas is agama please understand pure consciousness is all pervasive meditate on it what is it all pervasive is it ocean no even water is not all pervasive is it air no beyond the valimandala the air field it's not all pervasive then what is the all pervasive space no like space because even in our space only there are some few billion planets but universe is much beyond few billion planets we have ever understood or imagined vyakta avyakta manifest and unmanifest manifested and unmanifested vyakta avyakta manifest and unmanifest meditate on it meditate on it meditate on it pure consciousness is all pervasive beyond the coming and going absolute radiant and self effulgent and embodied boundaryless whole i am not teaching you theology light i am not teaching you even how to live i don't care about living i care only about enlightenment please understand i am very clear i wanted to be branded as other worldly guru it is all about beyond what you know as life and death it's all about enlightenment the other world beyond it's all about beyond even what we know as space it's all about enlightenment pure consciousness uncompromising pure consciousness please understand whether you want this or not is up to you but if you decide to have me as a guru then there is no question of compromising if i am your guru be very clear i am here only to teach science of enlightenment i don't care about the stupid life i am not here to teach you living 
I am here to teach enlightenment. Sometimes I use the word like a living also. But even the, that word, meaning of that word is breathing pure consciousness which is beyond body and mind. It is never small letter L, I, V, I, N, G. It is always capital letter L, I, V, I, N, G. Be very clear. I am not some stupid ashram where, oh, you learn little yoga, you learn little Vedanta, you develop your life, learn to love, laugh, smile, dance. No. I am a clear monastery where Upanishads and Agamas are lived. Where a strict celibacy is practiced. Where Enlightenment is not only the first priority, the only priority. I think Upanishads are reminding us again and again with this verse. The context of this verse is by defining consciousness Upanishads are asking us to align ourselves again to the context. Pure consciousness is all pervasive beyond the coming and going, absolute radiant and self-effulgent unembodied, boundaryless whole, beyond the subtle body, woundless, muscleless, having no incompletion with the body, beyond the grass body, consciousness is the ever pure space, devoid of the dirt of ignorance, beyond the castle body, and is untouched by the delusion of incompletion. This description, this description itself need to be meditated. I wanted that today's Vakyar Sadas should be held on. What is the meaning of each of these words? Pure consciousness is all pervasive. Then what is that all pervasive? Beyond space, earth is not all pervasive, water is not all pervasive, fire is, is not all pervasive, air is not all pervasive, even space is not all pervasive. Then what is it subtler than the space which is all pervasive? Ability to visualize? No. There is so many tons of things which can't be visualized. There are so many things which can't even be thought about. Then what is pure consciousness? When you contemplate, you will have click. Please understand, every contemplation on pure consciousness will give you a click. That is consciousness for you. And if you further contemplate on it, you will have a better and deeper and subtler understanding and click. This clicks, getting refined, is spiritual growth. Spiritual growth means your ability to experience consciousness. You are expertise in experiencing consciousness. 
your expertise in experiencing enlightenment is spirituality nothing else the subtle mind with the tremendous awareness the whole blood flowing into the brain what your brain can catch as the experience of consciousness subtlety of that experience your expertise in catching the experience of enlightenment pure consciousness that defines how much you have grown spiritually understand your spiritual growth is not defined by whether you have become brahmachari or a swami or a kottari or a tanedar or a mahant no it is defined how much you can catch the experience of consciousness your expertise you the ability of your brains power ability of your brains expertise the subtle grooves of your brains its ability and expertise to catch the experience of consciousness the experience of consciousness that that makes that makes experience of that that makes you spiritual i tell you all spiritual practices are just to develop that subtle brain grooves in you to catch the pure consciousness whether you sit in the banks of ganga in silence in ardwar or you sit in the silence of manikarnika mahasmashana in varanasi or you sit in the silence of gomuk tapovan understand when you are brain grooves the subtle brain grooves are able to catch the concept of consciousness the spirituality is awakened in you it's beyond body mind at least before death you should catch the glimpse of what is consciousness please understand the most subtlest concept or experience of consciousness you got when you were alive that will only automatically open up when you leave the body that's the greatest gift you can receive from a master that is why i am insisting on all our devotees if you have elderly parents above 60 the modern day above 60 means in waiting list for packing up if you have elderly parents above 60 don't miss the chance of varanasi shivoham make sure they are there sitting in shivoham in varanasi because the strongest glimpse of consciousness which their brain can withstand their body can stand they will have it in shivoham process that will be the greatest gift you can give it to your parents from the master many people when they come and attend the program they try to take the rudraksha 
something from me as a gift to your family and friends and parents i don't know about others if you have parents above 60 do not miss this is your responsibility see to it they are sitting in varanasi shivoham they catch the glimpse of what their brain can grasp understand once you are above 60 lot of your time should be spent on grasping what is consciousness the subtlety of the consciousness should be grasped it's not that youngsters don't need to elders have to does not mean youngsters don't need to don't give your own meaning to my words when i say elders have to elders have to that's all youngsters youngsters also can or after you become a elder you have to that's all then naturally I'll be giving only energy sessions. Acharyas will be conducting the classes. The more you delay in our Sangha, any program, the more you lose my physical presence directly. That's all. That's the truth. The more you delay, the more you are going to learn from teachers. Pure consciousness is all pervasive. Beyond the coming and going, absolute radiant and self-effulgent, unembodied, boundaryless whole, woundless, muscleless, having no incompletion with the body. Consciousness is the ever pure space devoid of the dirt of ignorance. Today I wanted all of you to meditate only on the first line. Pure consciousness is all pervasive like space beyond the coming and going, absolute, radiant and self-effulgent. Just on this line, have Vakyartha Sadas. Have Vakyartha Sadas just on this line. Contemplate, contemplate, contemplate. Actually, if you catch the subtlest understanding about consciousness, you will just know it's you you will start falling in love with it. You will know it is you. You will fall in love with only things which you feel as you are part of you. Not anything else. Consciousness always stays itself. Only by itself. Meditate on the consciousness. Contemplate on this truth. Think morning, evening, have Vakyartha Sadas about it. Whoever gives the most subtlest understanding about pure consciousness in today's Vakyartha Sadas, which is accepted by all, will receive my turban as a gift. Your head is worthy of this turban.
because all vakyartha sadas from the time immemorial was held only for imparting the subtle most understanding and glimpse of consciousness when you contemplate 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 what is it beyond space out and in what is that that fills everything what is it that makes everything run what is it that is source of me even that subtlest contemplation gives you the click the click you get is the level of your spiritual growth again if you contemplate tomorrow you will get a deeper click understanding then better spiritual growth this is the way the spiritual growth happens constantly 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 i bless you all let you all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching casting living advaita the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone 0802727999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/ life bliss found